<laughs> hey Survivor fans, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Survivor Puzzle app. The link is in the video's description. Guys, Cody and Corey, I'm just gonna... Well, I'm with you. I don't know why I was left out on it. You guys, Declan, Eddie, like, I've been with you since Beryl, like, old Beryl. I don't know why you felt like you had to keep this move hidden from me. Hmm. I mean, hey, well, I'm just saying it I, because... Hey. Marco, I, Marco, you can't play both sides and be expected to work out. Man. I'm not That's playing. It is. I, I was with that Colin. Dude, I wasn't playing. Bro. I mean, hey, I mean, hey, I got context. It's just that's how the that's how the cookie crumbles, big boy. Cody is. I mean, I just I don't know what votes he thinks he's getting at the end by like. I don't want to. Is uh, I don't want to be a, a a dick, but like, is douchey the word? It's like, he's just clapping, screaming, OH MY GOSH, THAT WORKED! And, you know, like, no respect for the people he just blindsided. And sure, he blindsided us. He beat us, but at the same time, you should have respect. It's called jury management. And, like, Declan did that. Zach was at least respectful, but... Cody just claps and hollers, and I don't really get exactly why because i don't think he realizes that we're all going to be on the jury we don't just go away so right now i mean i won't lie and say i'm okay but fingers crossed that something happens and we can get ourselves out of this bad situation What's, what's on your bed right there? Uh, here? No, no, on your bed. Oh, Behind this, you. This is not my bed. This is like, you mean this? No, I'm saying, what's, what's the, the thing right? No, look, the, the thing. No, behind you. Yeah, like, what do you mean? The immunity item. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Congratulations for being the last to outlast everybody on the call. Oh my god! Just immunity item. That belongs to you. You were able to use it up and until the final five. So oh. use it wisely. God, dude, I knew it. Oh my God, I'm sweating right now. I'm, I'm red. I am about to cry. You know, I'm not kidding. No joke. <laughs> oh oh my. Use, it, use it wisely and uh, congratulations. I. Oh my god, I just put off the, possibly the biggest, arguably the biggest, um, play of the season so far, getting out one of the biggest threats, if not the biggest threat in the game, that being Michael. Um, it was insane, I played my idol correctly for Alex, negating six votes, and successfully getting Michael out. Now, you know what's the best part too? No one knows that it was all me. They think it's Cody. Or maybe a Zach. They think it's Cody because he's loud and celebrates the most. And he's like a leader archetype kind of guy. But he really doesn't do much shit at all. I just order him around and tell him what to do. I'm really, but I'm truly like the brains behind this whole thing. I'm the youngest person in the game right now. And I'm ordering around 
a 32 year old man in alleys, telling him what to do. Bro, I'm back. Um, probably in the lowest point of my game so far. I think throughout the whole game, Carl's been telling me, Mark, I'm playing with a really hollow feeling. Like every time there's a tribal, I just feel dead inside. And I get that from him because, uh, Carl, you've never been in the majority of the entire game. You've basically been on the outs the whole time. And this is the first time I've been left out on a vote by my own alliance. And then you have Cody, the prick, who tries to call me out and say, Oh, Marco, you turn on us, you turn on us. I did exactly what I told you I would do, Cody. I told you I'm voting for Alex, I'm voting for Alex. And you turned on me, yeah, okay, fine. I was probably going to turn on you eventually, but I didn't betray you, I did what I told you to do. He whoops and cheers after every single, like, the Connor elimination when everyone just voted for him. He had to cheer then. Dawn's elimination when everyone voted for him. Like, you don't cheer. You don't beat, you don't punch down. You don't t laugh at someone while they're down. And he has the gall to just jeer at me. Who, like, we're meant to be friends. Like, even if he, it's part of the game, you don't jeer in my face. The line, as you know, has been clearly drawn. We have Kyle, Michael, Eve on one side. This side, you got me, Declan, Corey, Eddie. And then right in the middle, here's Marco. Marco right here. Marco's like, I'm not going to pick one side or the other. I'm just going to plan myself right in the middle. I'm going to play both sides at the exact same time. For those of you who are Survivor fans over here, you know that doesn't end too well. And that's where my anger really comes in at this point. Because I trusted him with my plans. Everybody on this side trusted him with our plans. It's ridiculous. So, I don't know. I had to speak up. I had to speak about, about something because how he's playing this game will not get him far. And if he does get that far, it won't have him win. Going into tribal, I knew exactly where every vote was going. I was playing both sides, the International Alliance and the Peril Boys. Michael trusted me a lot and I voted against him. So, you know what? I'm here to play. And I want to play this game with the people that are loyal to me. Declan's been loyal to me since the very beginning. Corey and I were the only two people to know about his idol before this tribal, so I knew I could trust him and I want to work with him going forward. I think the plan worked to perfection and I hope that I make it far. Michael Nome, my biggest ally in this game, the one that I came in this game with, the alternate twist. It stinks because it was Michael's own fault that he went home. It was Michael's fault that he went home because we had our group chat with the International Alliance that you guys probably know about now, with me, Kyle, Marco, Eve, Michael, and Garrett. We knew that we were gonna have to do something, but I didn't think that something would be Michael adding Zach to our group chat, thinking that it was a smart idea because he thought he was trustworthy on his track when he was on track with him. So last night, Michael, my main ally, got voted out. Um, I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting it to be Alex, but the Barrel Boys pulled something out of the bag. Um, it was my first time not being in the majority, so now I'm in the minority. Um, so what am I going to do? Um, I've been getting closer to Marco. We've been having good L chats and long L talks over the phone. Um, so going forward, I think I'm going to still work with him and the International Alliance. Michael went home. And I, honestly, like I've got something to say about Michael. Like this comes from the bottom of my heart. Michael, um, that's what you get for plotting against me. Thanks. Um, yeah, poor Michael. He was trying too hard and that put a bigger target on his back and I just shot the final arrow with poison that was the demise of his game. Alex is extremely, I don't know how to put this, he's interesting to say the least. Um, he is really getting on my nerves right now because he's going around saying that 
he threw the final punch. He laid the final the the final nail in the coffin, putting Michael's game to rest. And that is in fact not true at all. I saved him. He I'm the reason he's still here because without me he'd be sitting at Ponderosa. I just don't understand the delusion behind him how he can think that he pulled this off when in fact he really didn't do anything and just followed my orders. I'll let him think that for now, but in the long run, that might bite him in the butt doing stupid stuff like that. I actually feel really good about my spot in the game right now. We have majority 6-5 because of Declan's idle play last throw on Alex, which means Alex will stay with us like no matter what. So we have majority 6-5, and it should be a simple vote as long as all six of us stay tight. As every day goes by, I feel um, more and more unconfident with my group. And it's becoming very apparent that since I've been gone, they've gotten a lot closer and I'm obviously the one that's not in the loop anymore. And out of all of them, Corey seems like he's the most in between everything. And I don't even talk to Corey. He, he's like one of the only people I don't talk to. And the more and more I talk with the other side, the more and more I am considering flipping on this group and possibly putting myself in a better position. Oh my gosh, Eddie has just said that he's actually potentially willing to flip to me. And honestly, I am so thankful. This could have possibly saved my game. And he wants to vote Corey, which I'm perfectly fine with. I mean, there were bigger threats on the other side, but you know what? It's still not one of my alliance. So I am super thankful to Eddie right now and I'm praying that he works with me. But I have to go tell my alliance that Eddie's planning to flip. And obviously work could get out. So I have to be super careful in the way I do this and the way we get the votes onto Corey. But Eddie went to Eve and said he would be willing to flip to our side if we voted Corey. There were a few asterisks next to this. If Corey wins immunity, Eddie will not flip, and one of the International Alliance will be the one to go. According to Eddie, that would be Griffin. That is another similarity to earlier on in the game, because at Final 18, when the BCG blindsided Eddie, they all voted, the Burrow Boys, they all voted for Griffin. Just another similarity, I'd add that onto the pile. Mosquito. Anyway, there is that asterisk. And there is also the possibility that Eddie could just be lying to Eve and to the International Alliance as a whole to try and deter us from playing an idol at the next Tribal Council. Which, as far as I know, we don't even have an idol to play. So that could be a frivolous effort if it is just a lie. But if it isn't, then the only thing I need to worry about is Corey not winning immunity. Welcome to the final 11. You guys obviously voted out Michael in the last Trumbull Council. And uh, we're just going to hop right into it. We're going to get into the next immunity challenge. Yeah, if Nest Cafe has more or less searches oh. than Power Rangers. So if you have thumb up, then Nest Cafe has more searches than Power yeah. Rangers. Power Rangers currently is four million monthly. All right. Garrett uh, changes. You know, I'll I'll allow it for the first time. All right. So everybody is correct. It is lower. Three hundred one thousand monthly. <laughs> So, hey, this is a family show. Does sex positions have more or less monthly searches than Nesca? I know. I know those 14 year olds. Your, your, there, your first answer is going to be the only answer I'm taking. Thumbs up. You, know, you, you are. You are. Eddie, I'm going to be for you. Kyle, Kyle, I Thumbs know you're looking that up too. So. What was the question? I didn't hear. I couldn't hear. So, you you, you got to watch. Uh, Nice Cafe, does it have you know, sex positions, has more or less monthly searches than Nice Cafe. Right. This might be cut. It needs to be cut. You know, my mom's not going to be happy about it. Yeah. I'm not even of age. What do you guys want? Oh All my right. God. State surveillance, does it have more or less? No one cares about the states. What? Bruh. 
Thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down. I'm going with the majority here. Thumbs down. Oh it's my god. Alright, so Jupiter. Does Jupiter have more or less than states around? Alright. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Has more. About a million. KFC is five million. Easter, higher or lower? Actually. Oh god. Alright, so we're gonna need an answer. Thumbs down, it's very split. Kyle, Alex, Corey have thumbs up. Griffin has thumbs up. Everybody else has thumbs down. Has significantly a low. Alright, everybody else. Cordy Howe versus Easter. Everybody's okay. thumbs down. And it is lower. Grip Clubs versus Cordy Howe. What has more? Thumbs up for more, thumbs down for less. Why? Why? Why is it so cool? It's that GTA 5, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> thumbs up. Good. Bradley Cooper versus Strip Clubs. Very difficult one here. Let's see if we can get some split answers. Yeah, facts, Eddie. What happened? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't be persuaded by the crowd. Maybe you'll get a right answer. Cody and Marco, thumbs up. Everybody else, thumbs down. I'm so wait, 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 I'm thumbs down. I'm thumbs down. Everybody, I'm thumbs down. Marco and Cody, thumbs down. Everybody else, thumbs up. And the answer is... Oh. Cody, not winning back-to-back -back immunity so far. Brazil versus Bradley Cooper. In this match, Brazil got 7-1. Zach is the only one with thumbs down. And Zach... Wow. Wins. Good job, Zach. So next to me, I loved it because I was this close to get it. And it was basically at the end a showdown between myself and Zach, my closest ally. So it was just between him or me and I thought like let's do it for the team you know I let him win and yeah there was more probability that he could win the final challenge than me so there you go buddy <laughs> okay and uh, immunity the first immunity ever that is so cool I won one of those winning immunity feels amazing but I'm in this game for the long haul and this game's constantly shifting and moving and changing, so I wanna make sure I'm here when it's the finale. Here's what I did. I am the only person in the game to know that Alex has an idol. And so I used this fact to my advantage, and I told Marco and Garrett that I have the idol. And so you might ask, Zach, why would you do this? That puts a huge target on your back, you're jeopardizing your own game for no reason. Well, that would be true, except for the fact that I had a plan. So I told Marco and Garrett this in the morning and hoped that they would believe me, which I think they did. And then in the afternoon, I emailed the entire cast as a moderator saying that this email is an advantage in the game. And the first person to email me back with a correct answer to a certain question will win the advantage. And so I emailed myself back. I was the first one to do so. I won the advantage. And then I told Marco and Garrett this, and they asked, what is the advantage? Well, my fake advantage is a power-up advantage, and what it supposedly does is that if I have an idol, I can play it after the votes are read. And so I knew Marco and Garrett aren't super trustworthy, and that they would probably rat on me to the International Alliance, and so hopefully the International Alliance now thinks that I have a super idol, and if they think I have a super idol, they won't vote me out. Because in Survivor history, the people with a super idol aren't voted out because you need a majority split to vote them out. And if you don't, one of them is going away. So uh, apparently, Zach's got a super idol. So, okay, if being in the minority wasn't enough, I now have to vote someone out who has a super idol. So, like, it's impossible. It's a, we are against impossible odds. And I've been told to vote Kyle by my ex-alliance. And I don't, I think they're, they're lying to my face. They think I'm freaking dumb, like Carl's not going home, I know it's that much. I don't know who could be... 
Could be me. Could be maybe Corey. I've been told that Eddie might flip on me. Maybe. But I mean, if Zach has a super idol and he plays it on Corey, it's like all for naught. It's all for naught. Like, the odds we are up against. It's, it's, it, we, it, impossible is the word I would use. Impossible, as they say in it, 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 Italia. Marco comes to me all hectic, saying that Zach told him that one, he has an idol, and two, that the advantage we were all just looking for was something called the idol power-up, and powers up a regular idol into a super idol. And I'm just, I'm just sitting there listening to all this like... So you're telling me the person who has an idol got an advantage specifically tailored for someone who has an idol? It all seems kind of suspicious. I mean, why would Zach, firstly, tell Marco he has an idol, and then tell him about the advantage? It just it doesn't make sense. And now, it does scare me if this is real. But, it's a nagging thing in the back of my head that tells me, you know, like, maybe he got the idol power up, but I don't think he actually has an idol. Either way, it is something I have to be cautious of, but at the same time, I'm suspicious. I'm always nervous for tribal, but I think I'm in a really good spot. With the other side, with Eve, Kyle, Marco, Garrett, uh, Griffin, I think I'm not close with them, but I know they wouldn't write me down as a first option because I've talked to them in the past. Like Eve, uh, Kyle, Marco, and Griffin were all in my old tribe. And also, on my majority side, I have Declan and Zach as my two like top allies. Declan my number one, Zach my number two. So I have three people in the uh, majority six that will take me to final three, so I think I'm in a good spot right now. Okay, so right now, there are 11 people still in the game, and tonight we're going to tribal. So, there's a majority six person alliance and a minority five person alliance. I'm part of the six person majority alliance, which cons consists of myself, Zach, Corey, Cody, Eddie, and Alex. And then in the minority, it's Kyle, Eve, Garrett, Griffin, and Marco. As much as I would love to get out a huge threat, such as Kyle or Eve, um, I think it's best right now to play it a little bit chill, play a little bit smaller game, and go for someone like Griffin, who isn't that well connected, and is more likely for someone on the other side in that of that minority to feel scared enough to vote for him to make themselves feel somewhat comfortable knowing that they have a majority alliance doing the same thing. Travel tonight, uh, bro boys and I are going with Griffin. As much as I love it to be Marco or Kyle, uh, we opt on Griffin trying to kick out the, the constituents and the followers of the International Alliance, even though we cut the head off the snake, uh, aka Michael, last tribal council. So we decided to just say, hey, let's just pick off them one by one. Um, their vote tonight, we don't have any solid intel coming in because uh, since Marco flipped to the other side, um, we don't have anything coming in. So I need to rely on my gut and everybody else's intel coming in that, hey, let's just go Griffin. But I would not, I would, I would expect votes to be on me tonight as I see that I'm the figurehead. But we'll see what happens here because if everybody just sticks to the plan, 6 5, Griffin goes home. Easy money, 6-4, we have the majority, we're gonna kick out the rest. But, let's get it done. Going into tribal, I'm really scared. Eddie said that he might flip and vote Corey, but he hasn't given me a definitive answer yet. And that leaves me kind of scared because Corey is the most connected out of the rural boys other than Declan. And he wants to make a big move to get his name on the map after returning to the game because honestly he doesn't want to be a goat track to the end. I don't blame him. So yeah, I get why he wants Cory gone. It's just a matter of whether he's willing to take that shot yet. Right now, all I can do is hope because if not, it's going to be someone from my alliance gone tonight and probably me or Griffin. We're about to go to travel tonight and I'm still not completely sure what I'm going to do tonight. I feel uh, very emotional about it because if I do what I want to do, I will screw over half my group and they may never take me back and I'll be left alone. 
but the potential of making a big move and actually getting my name out there, it will do a lot for my game. And at the end of the day, I have to figure out, am I willing to screw over half this group of people just to make sure my name is there? And that I'm not sure. Welcome to Tribal Council number two. And uh, welcome back, Alicio and Michael. Marco, oh, hi. you seemed, you seemed uh, very verbally displeased with the last vote. You seem to be uh, at the bottom. I mean, it's, it's gameplay at the end of the day. I just don't know why. Um, look, it's a game for, let's just be real here. It's a game for no money, it's for fun. I don't know why like people have to like say stuff like, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, big boy. Like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's a game for no money. We're all just having fun here. I don't know why. Like, I got outplayed. I don't know why it has to be rubbed in my face. Is all I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Co like, Cody's, uh, Cody's clearly directing that comment at you. Uh, you know, you were very verbal about you know just getting behind and footing out uh, Michael and you know backstabbing Marco. So uh, yeah, like it was a good move. I, I mean. Just, uh, yeah. The re the reason why is you know you know you got contacts all over the island, man, and you know people tell you things and. I get that it was a good move. I just don't know why it has to like. I'm not a big boy. I don't know why it has to. <laughs> it's an expression, oh. Marco. Don't worry. Oh, no. uh, well, the 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 thing at the end of the day is that you know if you play both sides, somebody's gonna rat, and you know playing both sides does not work out. And I mean, it, it, it could be from there, it could be from, you know, over here, but, you know, saying more lies just to, you know, save your own skin, that's not how it works, you know, what and lies? that's, and that's how... Wait, what lies? Wait, first I want to know what lies. I don't know, man. Yes, so, because I don't know, I legitimately, I've not been lying in this game. Like, so, my, so, my, so wait, so, so there's not a separate, so there, hey, so let me question, is there not a separate group chat? With uh, you and um... Corey told me to be in that group chat. Like I was told, like you can ask him. He said, "Oh, it's a good way to get intel." No, I, I didn't. I did not say to get intel on them. Um, well, I look. I, I, didn't, my mistake I didn't even know you're in a group chat until, until like two days ago. Probably my mistake in this game is I tell the truth too much. I'm just saying I was. He said, or, oh, or you or you play both sides, and you paid the price for it. That's how, that's how it is. I mean that's. I mean if you play both sides, you don't. You you gotta you gotta expect the worst, that's man. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying. Um, I'm saying. I'm fine with being outplayed. I did get outplayed. I don't know why it has to be rubbed in my face when all we're doing is. Okay, and then okay, then if if you're if if is like we said, it's just a game. Shouldn't take anything too seriously, right? So I apologize, Marco. Okay, I'm sorry that I did that. Two seconds later. It's just when you throw my name out there, Marco, and people tell me that you do, and you're and and the the plan is me next. That's not gonna fly. I didn't throw I didn't throw your name out. I was just okay, going but to you were gonna vote. You told me you were gonna vote me. Gonna be voted. I, I was gonna vote you. I told you, Marco. Just come clean, man. Like it, that, yeah, that's I, it. I'm not lying, man. Look. Well, what do you want me to say? I told you what you want to do. First. Well, our our alliance, Marco, is what you don't get. Our alliance, our alliance is built on. Allegiance and loyalty. You have not shown loyalty to our alliance. That's the thing. Is because, you know, we, when when we uh, saw Burrell, man, we were like, yeah, we're we're gonna make it far if we all stick together. And then when the tribe swap happened, you went over there and you're like, hey, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna chill, I'm gonna ch I'm gonna I'm gonna chill over here for a little bit, right? Tribe swapped onto Goofy. What was I meant to do on Goofy? You got saved. Yeah, I know. I had to do something like he kept me in the and game. Yeah, I get that. But you know, continuing to stick with them, I mean, it's just the reason. That's the, thing. the reason. Okay, look, I'll be real. I put Alex's name out there because he was flipping on that side. But what I said was, his look. Listen, up. I was just trying to um, find a vote that could help everyone because I, I didn't want to betray anyone who helped me in the game. You, the Burrell boys, helped me in the game. Alex, Michael, and Gareth helped me in the game. I was just trying to find a vote that kept all the people who helped me in the game happy. And that's, that's the I'm thing. Talking. But what? But when merge comes, man, not everybody's gonna be happy. You can only you, there. You, there's a side that's, that's that. Cool. Do. Just Marco, thinking. there's a there's a side that's been drawn. Obviously, you need to pick one because playing both I'm, sides I'm, it's I'm gonna be a lot of trouble. That's the thing. Onto a side. 
I had no further comment, James. I'm good. All right. All right. De Declan, you played your idol last night. It was, uh, you know, an idol for Alex, who would have gone home. Uh, do, you, do you think a power play like that, do you think that's going to put a target on your back at all? Or do you think I, you're uh, in the numbers? I assume it will, but um, I know I was just going with what my group told me that was the best decision. And we came to a decision as a group for what would be best for us going forward. And that's it, is what we came to. Alex, you got six votes last night. Obviously not a good feeling. Do you think uh, votes are going to be put on you again? Uh, uh, maybe, you know, but at the end of the day, what Declan won is an, an, another ally, you know? Like, I'm going to be, like, super trustworthy um, with him and with with the alliance that I've got now, I think. And um, I'm so happy, you know? He did the best move in the game so far, so I'm super hyped about that. <laughs> One last question, Marco. This is probably probably the biggest question, and the question that fans all across the world are going to be asking: Where do you think your dad thinks the votes are going to go tonight? What do you think, Dad? Dad, where are the votes going to go tonight? Um, the host. Yeah, he says you, Jay. Oh. I'm just saying. He thinks you. That's what he thinks. The biggest blindside in Survivor history. All right. Well, just like that, it is time to vote. Zach, you're up. All right, Corey, you're up. My vote is for Griffin. You suck at Fortnite. Marco. Cody. Kyle. I feel not great going into this vote, but I think better than I should be. Because why not follow up one amazing blind side, one great play with another? With that said, Michael sends his regards. Garrett, Declan. Please don't take me in my alliance voting for you as a compliment, like saying you're a big threat or anything. You're really not. Um, we just want to get to the next vote so we can take out someone like Kyle or Eve. Have a good night, buddy. Eddie. All right, I'm gonna tell you this. Good luck. Good game, everybody. Hey, good luck, guys. Good luck. All right. If anybody has a hidden media idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. All right. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person who voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Corey. Griffin. One vote, Corey. One vote, Griffin. Corey. Corey again. That's three votes, Corey. One vote, Griffin. Corey again. Four votes, Corey. Corey. It's five votes, Corey. One vote, Griffin. Griffin. Griffin again. That's five votes, Corey. Three votes, Griffin. Griffin. It's four votes, Griffin. Does he realize that he's getting votes right now? <laughs> I don't know. Griffin again. At five votes, Griffin. Five votes, Corey. One vote left. And the 10th person voted out a virtual survivor, the third member of our jury. Corey, time for you to go. Oh, no. Wow. Oh. Corey, any, uh, any last words? Uh, good game, guys. Nice play. Thanks for letting me play. It was a very, very interesting travel count. A lot of discussions to had and a lot of discussions to be had. Well, all of you guys have a one in chance, 10 chance now. So you guys, 10% of the way. Get some rest, head back to camp. Good night. Dang, I did not expect that. Oh, 
I'm so mad because all I thought it was I thought it was gonna be a six five vote simple on Griffin because he doesn't have the idol we're pretty sure and Eddie flipped I found out I found out that he flipped because everyone showed me like screenshots and promised me that they didn't flip and Eddie kind of admitted it after and he said he needed to get in a better spot in the game and um yeah I mean I guess it was an okay move I don't know I think he would have gone far with the majority six but ah. Uh, I'm so mad because, like, I play a bunch of Insta games and Snap games, and I always do well. This is the most important game with, like, Survivor Geek and everyone watching, and this is my worst placement yet. I've never been, like, Merge Boot, which sucks, but, um, yeah, I mean, what else do I have to say? Oh, uh, oh, yeah, I want to return, but I don't know if that's possible because of my placement in this game, so I don't know. This is gonna be insane. At this point, I, I really don't know what to do. Everything up to this point has been leading to this exact moment. Nobody is scrambling. It's just an eerie silence because we all know what's coming. We're all just waiting for the battle to start.